Give me good, give me good, give me good, give me good. So what? Oh, no. Are you, are you serious right now? I am serious. You're good. I'm not, I'm a grown man. I'm all right, all right. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 hilarious Kevin Hart moments. For this list, we'll be looking at moments from pop culture featuring the actor and comedian Kevin Hart, such as talk show appearances, stand-up comedy shows, as well as press tours. We'll be excluding movie roles, as we already have a separate list for that. Hey man, stop cutting us off! Okay. Hey man, you cutting us off, Jack! This penny has your name on it, man! Yeah, I was about to throw this penny at you! He's about to throw a penny at you! <laughs> Which of these moments left you busting a gut? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20, the What the Heckle episode, Wild and Out. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the comedy stylings of Mr. Kevin Hart! As a master comedian, Kevin Hart has perfected the art of roasting other people. During the improv game show What the Heckle, on Wild and Out, Hart appears as a special guest and proceeds to heckle the heck out of the other team. Hey, real quick, what kind of thug but dazzle his skull? <laughs> In just one minute, Hart manages to send both the audience and even members of the opposing team into fits of intense laughter. While Hart's experience in comedy does give him an unfair advantage over most people, there's no denying the hilarious results that ensue because of it. His crocodile got your teeth, then attack your mouth. There it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Somebody put me out because I'm on fire. Number 19, his mom's funeral. Kevin Hart, laugh at my pain. Now, before y'all judge my family, let me tell you how crazy this funeral got, okay? First of all, all our families are crazy. We just come in different races, shapes, and sizes. Only someone like Kevin Hart could make a funeral sound so funny. During his 2011 stand-up special, Laugh at My Pain, one of the topics Hart talks about includes his mother's funeral. While it may sound depressing, Hart somehow manages to make it work in his favor. Before I say anything, I just want to start off by saying, God is good all the time. Starting with his cousin Al's eulogy, Hart's routine grows even funnier when he throws in the rest of his family's quirky antics into the mix. The fact that Hart was able to take such a sensitive subject and turn it into something this hilarious is a testament to his comedic talents. I said, um, cancer did it. It was cancer. He said, well, you tell cancer I'm looking for him, and when I find him, I'm gonna shoot him in the face. Twice! Me! By myself! One gun! One bullet! All day! Every day! Number 18, Visiting a Haunted House. The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon. I gotta be honest, I, roller coasters are, I'm okay, I can do it a little bit. I do not like being scared, I'm for real scared of. You, you, here's what I, I wanna say this, you jump out on me if you want to, you gonna get a boot to the, to the <laughs> neck. Everyone loves a good scare on Halloween, especially when the people getting scared are the comedic duo of Kevin Hart and Jimmy Fallon. In 2016, both Hart and Fallon performed a special segment for The Tonight Show, where they tested their courage at New York's premier haunted attraction, Blood Matter. Hey, Jimmy, look. Hey, give me a hand. <laughs> While their journey through the manor leaves Hart and Fallon feeling terrified at every turn, their freakouts to several sudden jump scares leaves the audience in stitches. When they finally do exit the manor, Hart tries and fails to pass off his terror as just an act and leaves Fallon with some funny yet not so flattering final words. Come on, brother. Hey, I'm out. I'm out. Happy Halloween, dude. Hey, uh, why don't you, uh, go f*** yourself, Jimmy? Number 17, One Minute Dance Off against Josh Gad, The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Now that you're both here, let's have a dance off. Yeah. 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 And now time for some fun with dance featuring some hilarious and talented actors. In this short but sweet segment from Ellen's talk show, Hart is pitted against Josh Gad in a dance off that goes hilariously off the rails in under 60 seconds. Hart starts things by confidently showing off his skills, but Gad quickly takes the attention from his opponent with some not-so-clean moves. This prompts Hart to start saying, It's a daytime! <laughs> but he trails off while the audience cheers and claps Gad along. Gad's win then prompts Hart to protest the result by going back and finishing his previous sentence. It's a daytime show! He yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what? That's called bar mitzvah dancing. That's yeah. Right. yeah. However, what really has us rolling on the floor by the end is when Hart makes this confession in response to Ellen's challenge that he prove he has R-rated moves. I, I don't really have those moves. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Number 16, Kevin B. Cheating. Kevin Hart, let me explain. Lying ruined my goddamn marriage. That's a lie. I cheated. Let's talk about it, though. Let's figure it out. 
Another funny routine from Let Me Explain involves Kevin Hart warning the audience about the dangers of cheating on your significant other. Drawing on the experience from his own divorce and lying habits, Hart explains how it wasn't so much cheating on his wife that made him feel guilty, but rather how he lied about it. If you're my real best friend, you should know that I need you to lie for me by the look on my face. If I'm looking at you and I'm not blinking, if I'm like this, That's a goddamn sign. In an over-the-top performance that only Hart could achieve, he turns a serious topic into an outrageous story that sends people into fits of uproarious laughter. That's certainly one way to warn people about the dangers of lying. I don't want to respond because I don't have any balance. I'm rocking back and forth. You don't look believable when you're rocking back and forth. So I had to choose a stance in which I look believable. So I chose this. I said, let me tell you something. Listen to me. Number 15, Super Bowl moment, Conan. Tell us a little bit about this exchange. What's well, happening here? Well, first of all, that's a that's a good man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that guy did his job. He thank, did his job. And thank good God. Yeah. Thank yeah. God he did his job that day because that was a little thing uh, called intoxicated. Yeah. Remember that time the Eagles won the Super Bowl? Kevin Hart sure does, and not just because of the game. After getting caught up in the celebration, Hart, who was beyond inebriated at the time, decided to do what he later confirmed was one of the quote top two stupidest things he's ever done: trying to hold the Lombardi Trophy. Not only did Hart somehow make it onto the field, he also crashed a live interview where he had some rather interesting things to say. How'd you feel when Brady had that ball and got sacked? Lost the ball. I'll say this. We're very lucky to have this guy a part of this team. I've been drinking. I'm <laughs> <laughs> In the end, Hart wasn't able to hold the trophy, not just because he was stopped by a security guard, but also because he wasn't entirely too clear on where he needed to go to find it. In my mind, I needed to get there so I could hold the trophy and go, Philadelphia, I did it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Number 14, Drop the Mic, The Late Late Show with James Corden. Comedy isn't the only skill in Kevin Hart's bag of tricks. On many occasions, Hart's proven himself to be quite adept at rap battles and has roasted many challengers in his wake. During a segment of Drop the Mic on The Late Late Show with James Corden, Hart puts his rap skills to good use against none other than the show's host, James Corden. Delete your account! Go home, jokey smurf! <laughs> A smirk. Yeah, he is. I'm looking at him. As the rap battle begins, both sides hold nothing back as they jab and roast one another's physical appearances, careers, as well as their levels of fame, producing comedic results and astounding everyone in attendance. In the end, Hart proves to be the superior heckler and leaves Gordon in the dust. Chocolate dropper, there's no stepping to me. You sang with chili peppers, well tonight you should flee. He tried the win, dropped the mic, third try. He picked the black dude. Good job, white guy. Number 13, NBA appearances. NBA All-Star Celebrity Games. At this point, I can't do no more. It's, it's Kobe, LeBron, me, it's just... Thank you! Despite his small stature, Kevin Hart has proven he's a pretty decent basketball player. Along with playing ball in high school, Hart's also been featured many times in the NBA's All-Star Celebrity Games, where he won the title of MVP four years in a row. Chris, don't do it, Chris. Not today, Chris. It won't happen today. You definitely don't do it. Needless to say, it was pretty entertaining watching Hart play in these games, but even more impressive was the level of trash talk he sometimes got into with the players both on and off the court. Plus, let's not forget his epic Kanye moment after being named the 2015 All-Star Game MVP. This is a Kanye moment. You don't get this. Number 12, His Phobia, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. It's an Oscar. Oh, it's, it's, it's a baby Oscar. You it's can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin! No. Despite playing a zoologist on the big screen, Kevin Hart is actually known for being afraid of certain animals in real life. While he may love dogs, Hart often feels uneasy being around more exotic animals such as tarantulas, snakes, birds of prey, and even dolphins. So in the picture, it looks like I'm playing, but like literally, I got frantic for a second. Like it, it was only like three feet, but in my mind, I was like, I thought well, I was. I don't die. think that's racist. First of well, all, you he's, he's... didn't see what the dolphin did when I got there. 
However, the animal that scares Hart more than anything is the ostrich. Considering how dangerous these birds can be and that he actually had a way too close encounter with one, it's understandable why Hart feels so freaked out around them. Even a baby ostrich is enough to make him run for the hills. Ironically, it was Hart's fear of ostriches that inspired one of his funniest routines during his I'm a Grown Little Man tour. I look out the passenger window, the ostrich was running 30 miles per hour beside the car. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. Number 11, what the fit moments. Kevin Hart, what the fit. Lengthening our body as long and tall as possible. That's now you're being a smart ass. <laughs> Over the years, Kevin Hart has developed a number of relationships with some of the world's most iconic celebrities. In 2018, the web series What the Fit premiered on YouTube and features Hart teaming up with several of these celebrities to perform a variety of workouts. Come on, guys! One, two, push, okay. and roll! Oh, Darren, what the oh, f*** you doing, man? Oh, oh! Okay. Then you ain't, got, you ain't even let me roll! With more than 460 million total views across three seasons, Hart has done a number of unique workouts, including ballet with Ken Jeong, gymnastics with Terry Crews, mascot training with Kiki Palmer, as well as karate with Rebel Wilson. Regardless of the team up, Hart's celebrity workouts are guaranteed to feature hilarious hijinks. Let's do the ki Let's go with the ki Let's go with the ki Okay. ki Uh... ki More macho one. ki ki Number 10. Pineapples. Kevin Hart, laugh at my pain. Here's the thing, I don't bite my tongue. When I'm uncomfortable, I'm gonna tell you. I am, I've done it several times. That's why I use safety words. For those who do not know what safety words are, safety words are words that you use to let a woman know that you're not comfortable with what's going on. It's amazing how well Kevin Hart is able to incorporate topics into his routines that many would shy away from. Even the act of lovemaking is not off limits. During his Laugh at My Pain special, one of Hart's routines involved talking about his own intimate experiences and failures. I'm telling you my biggest fear. My biggest fear is a girl making a headboard rock on me. Like, as a man, what do you do when you hear that shit? Like, you hear this? And you look up, she all aggressive. When the topic of what makes him uncomfortable comes up, Hart reveals to the audience his personal safe word. The example he gives of such uncomfortable scenarios are funny enough, but it's the moment when he starts screaming the word pineapples and pretending to freak out that takes this routine to even more hilarious heights. Pineapples, I don't, I don't wanna do it. Pineapples! I, I wanna go home, I don't wanna, I, don't, I wanna go home! Number nine. 2015 SNL opening monologue, Saturday Night Live. While I'm walking my dog out of nowhere, this old lady pokes her head out the window and goes, hey, you better watch your dog. Don't let them eat them like they did mine. I said, wait, what? First of all, first of all, who is them? That's the first thing. Out of the three times Kevin Hart hosted SNL, his opening monologue from his second appearance is by far his most memorable. Starting off by complaining about the variety of troublesome wildlife around his home, Hart insists that the most problematic pest isn't snakes or mountain lions, but a single raccoon. My lady said, why do you lie so much? Like, what do you get out of lying? I said, who the hell makes up a lie about a raccoon jigging a lock and going bang, bang in the house? The way Hart describes his first encounter with said animal and how it seemingly threatened him with impossible hand gestures leaves the crowd howling with laughter. Of course, that wasn't the only funny part of his monologue. Hart describing the scenarios of his son taking out the trash and his unwillingness to save his wife from a mountain lion attack are also quite humorous. If you get attacked by a mountain lion, you're not coming out of that attack the way that you went into it. Something's gonna be different. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't wanna save her because I don't know if I wanna be with the woman that survived a mountain lion attack. Number eight, wanting to be a rapper. Kevin Hart, I'm a grown little man. You ever see rappers freestyle? Like when they be battling each other? You ever notice the more angry a rapper get, the higher his hands get? You ever notice that? Even though he's one of the world's greatest comedians, Kevin Hart has stated that it was a dream of his to become a rapper. During his I'm a Grown Little Man special, Hart jokes about how his soft voice and small height are major disadvantages when it comes to developing a tough rapper image. To be a rapper, you need a deep voice. That's the only way people are gonna wanna listen to you on a regular basis. I don't think nobody would buy my album because my voice is too small. Yeah, bitch, I'm a killer. I shoot you in your face. Overall, it's quite impressive how confident Hart is in recognizing his weaknesses and laughing about it with the audience. The routine only gets funnier as Hart picks up momentum and reveals his reasons for why he finds rappers hilarious. Ultimately, Hart's rap dreams did come true after he launched his own mixtape, What Now?, under his rapper alter ego, Chocolate Droppa, in 2016. Push it like we on the incline, push it like a door, and then we walking inside. Number seven, riding a roller coaster with Jimmy Fallon. The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon. Lock me in, lock me in, lock me in, man. 
Come on, Prof, again. No, 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 push it further. If you thought Kevin Hart taking on a haunted house was funny, then you should definitely check out this other fear-facing moment. During one of his segments on The Tonight Show, footage is shown of Hart and Jimmy Fallon riding on a roller coaster at Universal Orlando. From the moment they're strapped in, the audience can be heard howling with laughter as they bear witness to Hart's and Fallon's terrified expressions while they endure the coaster's many high-speed twists and turns. And just as the ride comes to an end, Fallon requests another go, causing Hart to freak out all over again in the funniest way possible. Dude, you did great. I did good. You did great. Let's just go. Here's the good go. news. We're going to go again. We're going to what? Number six, his dad goes to his school. Kevin Hart, laugh at my pain. Stupidest thing my dad ever did when he was on drugs, right? When I was a kid, I remember my dad came to parent-teacher conference. That's when you go to your kid's school, talk to your teachers, see how they're doing in school. In many of his comedy shows, Kevin Hart often references the complex moments between him and his family. Among the funniest are those involving his father, where Hart provides detailed accounts of some of the craziest things he's done. One especially embarrassing moment was the time his dad went to his school wearing sweatpants but no underwear. That's right, he went commando. I cannot make this up. Let me show y'all how my dad walked into my school. This is all I saw. Hey! From imitating people's horrified reactions to his own father's blunt response to them, Hart's energetic personality and impersonations are beyond funny. Leave it to a man like Hart to take an embarrassing moment and turn it into a comedic masterpiece. Out of nowhere, all I heard was, All right, all right, all right! Yeah! Number five, teaching a student driver, Conan. Okay, rule number one, don't f*** this up! <laughs> Seat, you With know the what I mean? The, the homies in the back seat. Like. Yeah. What happens when you put Conan O'Brien, Kevin Hart, and Ice Cube in the same vehicle? A whole lot of comedic mayhem. While helping one of his staffers get her driver's license, Conan invites both Hart and Cube to assist. Is this person cutting you off? Yeah, yeah, what's what's that window hey. and throw a penny out the what's window. Up? What's going on? Roll, Roll the window, window out. Throw a penny. Throw a penny. Go. Go. You just <laughs> dropped it. You just from the moment they get in, the car quickly descends into chaos as all three celebrities try offering her driving advice, most of which revolve around how to deal with rude drivers. After getting into some mischief and avoiding trouble with a bike cop, the four end their drive with some jokes and fried chicken. Needless to say, there's a reason this segment became one of Conan's most watched clips back in early 2016. Diana, you are ready for your driver's test. Isn't she ready now, guys? No, you are. Listen, and if the instructor mm -hmm. says anything that mm -hmm. you don't like, you throw a battery at his ass. <laughs> Number four, cuss words. Kevin Hart, seriously funny. Um, now, you know when you get smacked when you a kid, you get hyped. When you get by yourself, you gonna smack me, bitch? <laughs> Normally, children are taught to never disrespect their teachers, but in Kevin Hart's case, he apparently got a free pass. During one of his routines, Hart joked about how his mother didn't tolerate him swearing. However, after one of Hart's teachers questioned her parenting style, she gave him permission to swear by telling him to deliver a word-for-word -word message. You tell her, mind her damn business, before I come down there and I beat her ass. I said, oh, okay, do you, you want me to say it like that? Or do you want, me, you want me to take some stuff out? Hart delivered the message, but he also made the unfortunate mistake of adding in a few more swears for good measure, driving his audience crazy with laughter. Needless to say, Hart getting suspended was the least of his problems, as his creative additions got him into even bigger trouble with his mom. Hope it was worth it, Kev. My friends was in the background, they was like, oh! <laughs> he said she ain't had no nipples! Number three, Justin Bieber's roast. Comedy Central Roast. Here's the thing, tonight we're gonna do what his parents and the legal system should've done a long time ago. We're about to give this boy an ass whooping that he deserves. We are. We are! When you have Kevin Hart hosting a roast, it's guaranteed that heads will be rolling with laughter. When Comedy Central prepared a roast for Justin Bieber, the event also attracted special guests such as Shaq, Snoop Dogg, and even Martha Stewart. With so many celebrities in attendance, Hart doesn't waste the opportunity to take a few shots at them. Why are these idiots who work for you taping you pissing? That's what I don't understand. Like, when someone is filming you taking a piss, if you don't want them to tape you, you turn around, you say, turn the goddamn camera off. Unless it's mandatory, like Snoop pissing in front of his parole officer. That's different, Snoop. <laughs> However, it was Bieber who got the worst of it. Hart holds nothing back as he roasts Bieber on the many mistakes and mishaps he's made throughout his career, including how he tried and failed to be gangster. While Hart admits that things did get a little rough, he also acknowledged Bieber for giving a pretty damn good rebuttal. You guys were all really funny tonight. Um, when we were looking for a roast master, we called Jamie Foxx, uh, Chris Rock, and they both couldn't do it. Um, then I had a great idea. Let's call Kevin Hart and see if he has Dave Chappelle's number. <laughs> no, I have huge... 
Number two, playground insults with The Rock, Scott Mills. DJ's got the same nose as Janet Jackson. <laughs> Here we go. The, the, he's, he's taking the gloves off now. Among the many celebrities and actors Kevin Hart has befriended, his relationship with Dwayne The Rock Johnson is by far the most unique. Along with co-starring in several movies together, the two also sometimes do live interviews or go on radio shows. One of their funniest moments includes going on Scott Mills' radio show where they exchange playful insults and trash talk. Dwayne Johnson has women's eyes. <laughs> He's got women thighs. <laughs> In some cases, they've even been known to impersonate one another. Needless to say, moments like this can get pretty funny. Despite what some rumors might say, the iconic duo's heckling of one another is just part of what makes their relationship unique. And it's fair to say that such moments won't stop being funny anytime soon. You wanna know where the eyebrow raise came from? It came from the reaction of people when he goes, hello. And everybody like, yeah. <laughs> That's what The Rock is cooking, shitty bread. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Grandpa Stare. Kevin Hart Seriously Funny. Like my grandpa, one of those old, like, down south old men. Like my grandpa cuss, he pronounced every letter in the cuss word. Shit! Like, he's serious. There are plenty of funny moments in Kevin Hart's Seriously Funny special, hence the name. In terms of the funniest, though, that award clearly goes to the routine featuring Hart's iconic grandpa stare. While talking about his grandfather, Hart brings up some weird yet humorous moments such as his grandfather's history with the ladies, his unusual way of cursing, as well as his reaction to watching a cat drink milk. This is what makes me laugh. After he yells at something, he stare at it for a long time. <laughs> Get out the boat! Of course, this routine would not be complete or as funny without Hart imitating his grandfather's confused facial expression. Along with making comedy history, Hart's iconic grandpa stare achieved such notoriety that it became one of the funniest and most versatile memes on the internet. He was asleep. He fell asleep. <laughs> I wish I could see him. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.